So for years, I've always joked around saying that I was going to start the Dude's Review, where I sit there and talk about movies or TV series or whatever, you know, and give my point of view, my spin on it. Um, so it's been a while since I've actually seen something where I really just wanted to talk about it and share it with other people. Well, today, April, and I finished a series called Midnight Mass on Netflix, and um, and I tell you right now, I, I give it two thumbs up. I mean, as Bodie says, four thumbs up if I had to point my feet up here. Um, it was really good. First episode to last episode. You know, it seems like lately, you know, so many series kind of had this thing, even when they first start, that they get you in the first episodes. And then by the time they get to the last one, they don't quite know how to end it. And so they ruin it. They go all Stephen King on it, you know. Great build-up, horrible ending. So this one was not that way. This was really well-written, well-shot, well-directed. I mean, I really liked it a lot. It centers around a young guy named Riley Flynn. And it starts off, he's in a car wreck. Very opening scene, there's a car wreck. You can tell the guy's sitting there, he's been drinking, and there's a young girl across from him on the road who has clearly died from the car accident. Four years later, he goes back after getting out of prison, he goes back to the sleepy little town where his uh, where he grew up from. His family's still there. This is a sleepy little island town that uh, had an oil accident, an oil tanker crash there in the mid 80s and kind of just screwed the whole town up. The village has only got like 150, 160 people that live there. Well, as Riley comes back into play, so does this preacher from the Catholic Church. And um, young preacher, you know, and, and as this preacher comes back, he uh, is kind of bringing some miracles with him, some moments and some really kind of mysterious stuff going on. Um, as I say, each episode just keeps bringing you in more and more. Well, uh, this, this, uh, the Father Paul is played by Hamish Linklater. I think I'm saying that right. And I got to give that guy special props because I've only seen him in one other thing. But his performance in this was, was awesome. There were moments between uh, Father Paul and Riley Flynn when they're just one-on-one -on -one and they're having these conversations about, about uh, life decisions and uh, Father Father Paul is helping him with um, the AA classes that he's having to attend, mandatory for his probation. Man, I mean, guy knocks it out the park. Absolutely knocks it out the park. Um, I don't want to talk too much about certain things about the show because I don't want to give anything away. But I want to give another special mention to uh, Samantha Sloyan. Sloyan? I think I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just going with that. Um, Bev King, she's the, uh, she's the woman who was running the church, kind of making sure things were in its place while, uh, while the, the preacher, the, the father who ran the church had gone off on, on some voyage. You know, there's, there's only some, you know, when somebody's playing a part right, when you'd give anything to just step into the TV and, punch them right in the face. I mean, if you watch the movie Step Brothers and you, and you, uh, at the end of it, where that dude walks up to, to Brennan and goes, I don't know, man, there's just something about you that just really makes me want to hit you in the face. Bev King, Bev King. She plays the part so well of the hateful, overrighteous bitch that I, mean, she nails this part. I, mean, you will hate her. And, and, and rightfully so, you should, because she's written to where you do. But yeah, you're going to hate her. She nailed it. But um, I thoroughly enjoyed this. If you watch it, give me some feedback on what you think about it. I loved it. Um, really got to the last episode, and I was like, please don't screw this up, y'all. I mean, please don't screw this up. They didn't. They knocked it out the park. I, I really enjoyed it. So... The Dude's Review number one on Midnight Mass, kick ass, two thumbs up, 
totally killed it. Loved it. Thanks, y'all.